Right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, here's Optimus Prime, I'm Evil Tim, you are goons, and this is Let's Play Transformers! Let's Play Transformers! We're off to Pacific Island to pacify the island which is in the Ipic, or something. Right, so we're going to Beachhead, but first we have a quick look around this Pacific Island, it's an island in the Pacific. Want to get wet? Nope, it's got an umbrella, don't be stupid. However, there are jet snipers, bent on evil. There is a bunker, full of mans, bent on evil. There is a commander, ordering a heavy unit to not look at a dropship, bent on evil. There is a lighthouse, preventing the dropship from crashing into the cliff, not bent on evil. There is a tank, it's guarding the lighthouse, which is slightly bent for some reason. There's another tank, there's a third tank. There's a bunch of mortars, which aren't in the level at all. This is probably on some evil, horrible, but fuckingly scary difficulty level that I will have no part in, and up in the volcano lurks sour Megatron. Crushing poor old Leader One from being the leader of the Gobots to being crushed by Megatron. I'm not even sure which is worse. Anyway, we're on Pacific Island, and first we'll be menaced Megatron by messages from this guy. Of the island. This is his base. Are you sure it's not going to just turn out to be another data con? Because if it is, I'm going to come up to you and I'm going to kick you up your robot ass so hard you'll be able to tie my shoelaces through your mouth. So, don't be wrong this time. I almost got crashed into by a starship last time you were wrong. I have not blamed you for it. I have been kind. But if you fuck up this time, I'm going to horribly at the kill you. Of the volcano. Right, he's at the top of the volcano. He said he's not. He's inside the volcano. Okay, we've got to look for a path to the summit. We've got to look for a path to summit. I think we've got to look for a path to Megatron. And we've got to f probably try to find that path around these bunkers across this here expanse to that bunker there. Except we're not going to glide that way. That's a stupid way. It's his way. Of course it's stupid. Anyway. Over here is a jet sniper. We're going to snipe at him, except we're not, because I didn't aim for his head, because I'm a twit. I thought maybe three rounds from lookout would be enough to kill him, but it, it turned out it wasn't. Isn't that ridiculously weird? Okay, so we've got the headshot cursor, but now we haven't got the headshot cursor, and I'm like, oh, why isn't there a headshot cursor, Mr. Filston? Why? I don't... Oh. Thank you, hitscan rifle, you located that rock for me. And he blows up, and he's all like, Grrr. Optimus Prime, goddamn you, I'm supposed to be the sniper, you're just a big truck type robot. What? That's discrimination, sir. That is discrimination and that is blatant racism. Trucks aren't a race. Yes, they are. Fuck you. Racist. Anyway, so now we're going to use Aftershock. We're going to use it in its artillery gun type mode. Die, turret, die. This doesn't actually kill the turret, as it turns out, but never mind. It has a huge blast radius, and its huge blast radius is actually a blast radius in which it can kill you as well. In fact, if you've got it fully charged, it can kill you instantly, as happens in a later part of this video. Now, you probably saw the turret that was up there. The turret, um, you can't actually man it. It's left over from those turret sections that were supposed to be in the game. Um, you, I guess you can't man it because, I don't know, Megatron figured out that Autobots always play by the rules, and so so he just put a little sign on the seat that said no Optimus Primes, and so we have to we have to abide by it. And anyway, we just killed these guys, Commander, so uh, they they now lack any form of command whatsoever, and we are free to dismantle them. Our mighty gun launch rocket machine, artillery gun thing. Take this, all of you. Oh God! Do you want to buy a cottage in Wales? No, the locals have just set fire to it for crying out loud, Optimus Prime. We we we've we've had really bad buyers remorse there before. What you you? What? Well, I didn't want to sell you it anyway. Fuck you. A likely story. Shut up, you're dead. And meanwhile, we will show our disdain for the local culture by destroying this Easter Island head and incidentally this deceptive load because we are an item of pop culture and we do not like any other form of culture. So fuck you, Easter Island heads. Fuck you all. <laughs> okay, so we've got a few more snipers to deal with first and then we've got to go and get a Godrona type gun thing. But firstly, another man is going to man that, that turret up there, because we didn't destroy the turret, we only destroyed the man manning it. Man oh man. So, the reason, of course, that he can man that turret is because it is a communist turret. It doesn't belong to anyone in particular. It only belongs to the people. So, he is free to leap into the seat. Damned communism. Accursed reds. Always manning gun turrets at me. Why I ought to snipe it all your friends for that, and in fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Wait. I am Major Yuri Gagarin, Soviet cosmonaut and first man in space. I have heard your many slurs against the glorious methodologies of communism, and I want to say that I am now constructing rocket ship from toilet rolls and bed linen, and I am going to prove once again superiority of Soviet methodology. No, you're not. You're a madman who has lived in a cell called Peter, who is, in fact, an ex-janitor who has convinced himself that he is Major Yuri Gagarin. Oh, what? 
I have been rumbled. No, no, how could this be? How could you have acquired such intelligence? It's written on your cell door. Oh, yes. I'm going to leave this mental institute now, and you're not going to follow me because you're locked in a cell. Curse it, physics. Curse you and your advanced knowledge of doors, mechanical workings. Meanwhile, this is Corona, away from the insanity of the previous section of this uh, LP. This is a heavy ribbon beam. It fires heavy ribbons in a beam. It is actually the bigger brother of Aurora, not that it's on the same team or anything. I guess, you know, one of them's gay. Who knows? Yes, playing for the other team joke. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, we've actually dug through the bottom of the barrel with a different barrel. Meanwhile, this thing can hit up to four enemies at the same time. It is a powerful green minicon, and it is awesomely great at everything. Except damaging buildings, as you will see later. So we're going to go up here, because we've got some glider here ahead of us. We've got a glider over there. Now you've noticed the crosshair has changed. The middle of the crosshair is defined by what last you have. The outer part of the crosshair is defined by what secondary minicon you have, which means, depending on fate, you might not even have an outer part to your uh, blaster rectical. Rectical. Oh. I am Caractacus Rectical, Professor of Englishology at Cambridge. Oh god, anti-aircraft fire. Oh no, we can't sustain such fire for very long. We'd better run, run, run. We'd better go and make our way to the warp gate so that we can get some more appropriate firepower for the next engagement. You die. Now you die. <laughs> I don't even have to fire forwards anymore. And you know why it doesn't affect me? Because I'm Optimus Prime, bitch. <laughs> So we're going to go and we're going to go up here and go through this warp gate and we're going to go and pick up Hailstorm for a big fight. Now these things here are bunkers. Bunkers have evil mans in them as demonstrated in the introductory section. They also have even more evil mans lurking below them and they have data cons in them. They have most of this level's data cons in them in fact. So there's going to be a bonus video of the bunker run because I can't be asked to do it in the main video. Despite the fact that it's much easier if you do it on your first visit than if you do it on any other visit because the bunkers are full of shield arms if you come back here. Oh yes they are. It's going to be fun ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be fun. So we've got some beamage to do. All of these medium units are coming out of the bunkers. They've all just, you know, just been in there having a cup of tea, and we have disrupted their idyllic lifestyle with our presence. Bwahaha! -ha -ha. You, no more cups of tea for you, sir. I'm going to destroy you and all of your friends too. Now you don't see it very well in this video, but the dropship ambush is in this video. Uh, it's uh, a bit later on, you see it probably. So for now, we're going to destroy all these bunkers. We're going to destroy all these mans coming out of the bunkers. All of you, you can be destroyed. Ha ha ha! Yeah, that's the chain effect on this thing. It is much, much better than on the previous ones. Now, the way the chaining effect works on Corona is the best way to work it is aim for a Decepticon that's further away from you and then sweep the beam across because you have to manually do it yourself. Unlike Spark Jump and the one we'll get later, Jump Start, the two uh, electrical beams, which will automatically split up whenever they strike a surface and hit any valid targets nearby. Uh, you will see jump start later, and I will I will very much wish I hadn't decided to show it to you. But that's for later. That's all something of a surprise. It's a big surprise, and there we go, it's arcing around that building as well. It's a wondrous weapon of doom and destruction and horror and death. Just the sort of thing any Autobot would want in his Christmas stocking. We didn't find it in our Christmas stocking, we found it lying around on a beach. Fuck you, Santa Claus. You're just failing in your duties now. Just gratuitously failing, sir. And that is not on. Not on at all. Okay, so we've got the last bunker here. We're going to shoot it a bit, except we're not. We're going to hit that tree instead. Curse you, bunker, for being guarded by trees. God damn you, Ents. God damn you. Okay, so we have found out the Ents are on the side of the Decepticons. Now these are the dropships that were supposed to have ambushed us, but weren't actually looking at them when we walked into the trigger area. But don't worry, they ambush us again in a minute, because uh, I go into the warp gate again to pick a different set of mini-gonnage, because this isn't quite an appropriate set for this section. Okay, so we're going to shoot that one up, it's going to escape. Now, the dropships on this level do not go anywhere when they are destroyed. What they actually do is start orbiting the island, which is quite a nice touch, actually, because if you recall, we've destroyed both places the dropships were launched from. So it kind of makes sense, the idea that these are actually the last dropships Megatron has, and they're just sort of hanging around his island with nowhere to really go. Aww. They're homeless. You've got to feel sorry, well, you haven't, but, you know, you've got to feel sorry for them, really. Where are they going to go? Who's going to love them? Who would snuggle something that big and weird? I don't know. And you want to know why I don't know? Because I don't care. So we're going to go over here, we're going to steal the lighthouse's datacon, it's all going to be like... But, but 
But I need that datacon, it's got all my knowledge in it. But you're a lighthouse, what the hell do you need to know? I need to know how to rotate things. But this has got art in it. That doesn't teach you how to rotate things. It's rotational art. No, it's not. You're talking nonsense in order to try to avoid the theft of your priceless religious artistical artifact machinery thing. Rumbled. Curses. Okay, so that's the final one. I'm going to fire a couple of rounds from this at it. And I was under the delusional belief that uh, you had to destroy the bunkers here because they would stay destroyed. In fact, bunkers don't stay destroyed. And that is the reason for something that happens in a little bit where I get ambushinated. Now that's one of them going up there orbiting the island. There's another one you can see just above that tree which is also orbiting the island. You can track them down and shoot them down if you really want to, but it really doesn't make much difference if you do or not because they are rendered completely ineffective by having by virtue of having nobody in them. They are unarmed and he falls down there. Sir, I've got a fantastic treatment for your scraplets. Thank you. I don't have scraplets anymore. Well, I was going to say it was the water, but death works too. Anyway, Got to blow up that last bunker, and then we're going to go back into the warp gate, and we are going to pick up. I can't remember what we're going to pick up here, but we're going to pick it up anyway. Whatever the hell it is, we're going to get it, and it's going to be fun and powerful. And here is Corona, not damaging that bunker at all. Take this bunker. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm laser type thing, proof. Ow. Oh god damn it. I forgot to have that missile proof coating at it. Oh yeah, I think I know what we're going in here for. We're going in here for Aftershock, that's what. That's right. Aftershock. It's a good name for a Transformer deodorant. Right, okay, so now we're back, and we've got Aftershock, and we've got... I think that's the Energon Vision? I can't remember. Well, but whatever it is, we've got it. Anyway, we're going to make our way down here, down to, onto that bit down there. And yep, we get ambushed by the dropships again. This is the dropship ambush that you can see. So we're going to charge up Aftershock, and we are going to shoot, and all of them die. Yeah. So they all they all blowed and the dropship is now going to bugger off and I'm going to shoot up the other two dropships and then we're going to actually get on with our lives. Oh yes we are. It's going to be marvelous. Now we can actually hit that dropship from over there in spite of the fact that it actually literally told us that we were out of range. Bang! It explodes below the dropship and kills everyone. The marvels of this weapon. They never ever cease. And you are going to see a brilliant glitch triggered by shooting aftershock far too far. Now, in my practice run, this glitch worked a whole hell of a lot better because they never moved, but um, we will leave it more exciting for now by not telling you precisely what it is. Anyway, we've got a set of gun turrets down here. They're trying to ruin our day, our life, our wings, our paint job, and literally everything. They're just ruinous. You, you are just bad people, you gun turret gunners. Now, the gun turret guns can actually be jackals, they can be... Medium units, any type of medium unit can kill one of these. I'm not sure if light units can, because I don't think there even are light units on this level. So they don't really get a chance to find out. But I think anyone can crew one of these. Even you, ladies and gentlemen, can crew a gun turret in this game. This message was brought to you on behalf of our sponsors, the Decepticlone Recruitment Organization. Or Decepticlone Recruitment Organization. It doesn't have an acronym, I'm afraid. And uh, they are our sponsors for this LP, but unfortunately we are required by law to say how crappy it is to be a deceptive clone, and so our advertisement has at best been of minimal use to them. Anyway, we're going to make our way back up this waterfall where water falls, because that's, you know, what, what, do you, what were you expecting it to do? Were you expecting, like, custard or gravy to come down it? I mean, Jesus Christ, good Lord, my people. What's wrong with you sometimes? You just come up with mindless ways to be contrary, I tell you. Anyway, so we've got these guys to deal with. We're going to shoot all of them out. <laughs> Alright, so in a minute you will see the mighty powers of Aftershock to confuse the AI with its mighty awesomeness ways. However, first, jackals must be destroyed. God must be satisfied with the destruction of jackals. Yes, I think that is the Energon vision there. And oh no, jet snipers. We haven't got airburst. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. We're not going to go and get it. Okay, we've got a heavy unit down there. He, he's looking out over the sea. What a beautiful, what a beautiful, beautiful evening, he's thinking. Oh, wait, it's not the evening. I guess my Energon vision's... Ooh! Ooh, I, I've been blasted right in the small of my back. It's that Optimus Prime type fellow. He, he, he's got a big glowing thing. I wonder what that's all about. Well, he missed me with it anyway, silly bastard. Oh. God damn you, line of sight anti tank rockets. I wish they'd stop inventing things like that. They, they ruin my back, you know. Okay, Sir, select spawn. I detected an unusually strong minicon signal at that abandoned human.